and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the truth about sparkling water. So carbonated water, is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right, let's get started. So what is carbonated water? So carbonated water is just water that has been infused with carbonated gas under pressure. So that's how it produces all those bubbles. So sparkling water, club soda, soda water, seltzer water, fizzy water, that's what we're talking about here today. So other than seltzer water, these other waters typically have some sort of salt added to them or sometimes even other minerals. This is just to increase and boost its flavor a little bit. So natural sparkling water or mineral water like Perrier or San Pellegrino, that's a little bit different. These waters are captured from a mineral spring. They tend to contain minerals and sulfur compounds. So there's tonic water too, and this is a form of carbonated water. It contains quinine, which is kind of bitter to taste, and sugar and high fructose corn syrup. So you see where I'm going with this one. So does carbonated water affect your dental health? So carbonated is acidic, so that's why this question kind of comes about because it's directly, you know, putting acid to your teeth. So, so research has shown that it does damage your enamel slightly, but nothing compared to, you know, sugary drinks. The thing to look out for here is, like I said, with the tonic water. So when you mix the carbonation with really sugary beverages and like sugar, high fructose corn syrup, that's where it gets kind of dangerous and it can actually destroy your enamel. In fact, there was a study that showed that Gatorade was actually more damaging to your enamel than Diet Coke was. So a non-carbonated sweet beverage as compared to a carbonated sugar-free drink. So bottom line here, you know, a sugary carbonated drink is gonna be way worse and kind of just carbonated water isn't really gonna do much. Now, does it affect your digestion? It actually can benefit your digestive system in a couple different ways. So number one, it can improve your swallowing ability. So this is because the carbonated water actually stimulates your nerves more, and more specifically the nerves that are responsible for your swallowing. Number two, it can increase your feeling of fullness, your satiety. Not only from the gases, but it can also make the food stay in your stomach a little bit longer to aid in satiety. And it can also help relieve constipation. So there was a study that showed the average bowel movement nearly doubled in people who were drinking sparkling water. Now we've talked about dental health, but does carbonated water affect your bone health? This is gonna be going back to the acidity that we were talking about earlier. So studies do show that carbonated water had little to no effect on bone health, and more specifically, cola did. So Coca-Cola, like I talked about in my Is Diet Coke Good For You video, that I, I can link that right up here, but they are high in phosphorus compared to like a clear, you know, sparkling water drink. So consuming too much phosphorus and not enough calcium is what's gonna be the problem here. Now, does it affect your heart health? Now, it actually can improve your heart health a little bit, but there's not too, too much research that backs this up. But there was a study that had 18 postmenopausal women, and when they drank sodium-rich carbonated water, it actually lowered their LDL cholesterol. That's your bad cholesterol, and it also lowered the inflammatory markers and blood sugar. So to sum everything up, there's really no evidence that says sparkling water is bad for you. It's not harmful really to your dental health or your bone health. That's more so like the sugary carbonated drinks or the phosphorus, so things like, like Coca-Cola or soda. It can actually, like I said, even benefit your digestion. It can reduce constipation and even, you know, stimulate your swallowing kind of nerve muscles. It's also calorie free and it gives you that kind of bubbly sensation or carbonation that people really enjoy and like about soda, but just without all those, you know, fake sugars and things and colorings going on. So I give carbonated water a double thumbs up. But that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And share, share, share this video with anybody who drinks carbonated water. And as always, if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.